fourth quarter of this Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and 10. And he stopped immediately there. B.J. Goodson there on the tackle. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. That is caught at the seven yard line. And the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with a Le'Veon Bell touchdown run. Greg Zerline to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. This pass complete to Higgins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Mayfield to throw it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. Four, eight. Mayfield. And finding the tight end, Hooper. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight more yards this time coming off back-to-back -back first down pickups. Open man is Higgins. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A Super Bowl 55 down to the final two minutes. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Mayfield tosses one complete to Landry. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. That's good. Four. Hey. That is caught inside the five. Yeah, the Browns are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Another first down is... And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Rashard Higgins, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Browns make some inroads here on that deficit. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. And the Cowboys are able to recover. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim, and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts 
as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll go again with Bell. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he's finally down at the 21-yard line. Now the Browns single for the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Now a first down carry by Bell. Legs still churning. Like a giant pinball. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Now Bell, and he lost the football. And I think the Browns got it. They did. Well, I'm guessing that on the sidelines, there might be a few words said about that mistake there, but I don't think it's going to hurt him in the long run. It's too So the challenge comes in inside of two minutes, and it gets overturned. And it changes the whole format of what's about to happen. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott, his second touchdown.